What's going on, everybody? I'm watching uh, Call of Duty's reveal or whatever at E3, and all I see is the campaign. And and I know you guys have been waiting for me to do a video about what I feel about Call of Duty, basically. And what I want to say is I kind of don't care about the campaign and at E3, this is all they're talking about is the campaign. Maybe they're going to, you know, show off the multiplayer a little later. And I'm going to tell you what I think is going to happen with the multiplayer. I think it's going to be kind of like Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4, when it dropped, it was boot, boots on... Well, I don't know what I was about to... Boots, but boot. But it was boots on the ground... It was childish. It looked childish and stupid when it dropped, but we accepted that. We were like, all right, it's boots on the ground. We were going to accept that. And then like three months go by. And then that's when they implemented the, the childish dances and the dabs and the, uh, uh, I think it was a gun with a unicorn with rainbow and googly eyes and stuff like that. Like that's what I expect to happen in this call of duty like i'm sorry guys i'm i'm always negative when it comes to call of duty now because they fucked it up it's a fuck it's a terrible game now call of duty is a terrible game they they're trying to be like everybody else and target children and i know i got a viewers that are children and I'm positive y'all understand like like I got gay viewers and they always come to me not come to me like hey I walk up to jive not, they always message me and be like yo I know exactly what you're talking about like like the black ops 4 thing with the with the forcing yourself onto a demographic like like I'm gonna make gay people like us like we're gonna make a character gay and we're gonna talk all about it in the bio and this and that like why why black ops 4 don't even have a campaign why are you talking about this guy's gay and his backstory and stuff like that it doesn't have a campaign all we want to do is get a gun get a loadout shoot people get kill streaks kill people i sound like a fucking murderer but y'all know what i mean like i don't care if fucking Prophet, I think Prophet the gay guy, but that's the only name I could think of. Ruin, I don't care if Ruin has a wife. I don't care about any of that stuff. I just want to play, push start, get in the lobby, pick my load out, and play. That's it. I don't care about rainbows. I don't care about anything. I just want to play. That's all. But like I was saying, going back to Modern Warfare... I think they're gonna, you know, they're gonna, boom, they're gonna start it regular. It's gonna be regular at launch, so everybody can buy the shit. All the hardcore people, oh shit, oh, oh, okay, boom, boom, boom. I mean, I'm playing some fucking Modern Warfare. And three months later, here comes the first patch, boom. Downloadable. Nuketown, Nuketown's gonna be in it. Oh, well, this isn't Treyarch, but, uh, um, uh, Infinity War doesn't have one of those stupid maps that they always download that people hate. But anyway, um, they're gonna, it's gonna come out, boom, it's gonna be a pink gun or some kind of a childish gun, like a, like a super soaker. You remember those guns, super soaker? And it looks plastic and it shoots water. They're going to have one of those. They're going to have a super soaker and it's going to really be killing people. And it's going to, they're going to implement all kind of stupid stuff that isn't military into the game. So kids can steal their mom's debit card or whatever and just download the shit. And it never fails. That's why I don't really. Like, I'm not excited at all, guys. I'm so negative and all that stuff, but this is just how it is now, man. I remember when we used to 
cry about lag and lag compensation and and um um what is it skill based matchmaking and be being the best player on the team and they're putting garbage pl- people on your team and putting the good players on the other team and they're all killing you and you're the only one like stuff like that we used to complain about now it's just a whole nother level it's just them trying to get money and it's very sad and i'm more into hardcore gaming now not not hardcore gamer but hardcore gaming than the like softcore like like i was saying the other day about PUBG. I don't like PUBG one bit, like not one bit, not a bone in my body likes PUBG. I don't like the player movement. I don't like the stupid recoil. The the, the recoil on the guns are just dumb. It's like not even fun playing with those guns. Anyway, I was saying the only way I would play PUBG is if they like continuously pay PUBG. Sometimes Barb will be like, yo, Jav, hop on PUBG. And I'll be like, all right, I'll, I'll play PUBG with you. You know, not, I mean, continuously play PUBG as if they had a hardcore mode. Imagine if PUBG had a hardcore mode. And I know a lot of y'all ugly as shit right now. What's a hardcore mode looking ugly as shit at home? What I mean is you drop, you get your teammates boom you drop and you don't see your teammates names over the heads and you don't see how much bullets are in your magazine you got to use your brain you got to use strategy imagine dropping with four teammates right y'all drop four teammates y'all gotta drop together or y'all gotta have great fucking communication like he drop all the way over there, he drop all the way over there. And when you see him, you don't know it's your teammate because his name isn't on top of his head like a childish fucking, hey, I'm your teammate. I can see you through walls. I, I know exactly where you are on the map. No, as he get far away from you a certain, you know, like a couple meters away, you pot, you they disappear off the map. You don't know if it's your teammate you're about to shoot at. You gotta have communication. That's the way I want, like like Tarkov. Like when we're playing Tarkov, we don't know who's who. You know, we, it, we gotta have communication. This is me, this is me running up. This is me doing this, this is me doing that. Yo, you just shot at me, stuff like that. If Battlegrounds was like that, I would play it all the time. So. Tell me what y'all think if Battlegrounds had a hardcore mode, which I know they won't do. They, they're, they're not going to do that. I, I don't, nobody, you know, they, nobody listens to a genius. You know, they think they're a genius, so they do their own thing. Call of Duty listened to me a couple times in Black Ops 2. I know David Vondar listened to me a couple times. But, yeah, that's what I think. Um, if you like that Black Battlegrounds idea... You know, um, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. And in Call of Duty, tell me what you think they're going to do with that multiplayer. I don't care about single player at all. Multiplayer is where my heart is. I'm a fucking beast. But um, like the video and I'm out. Peace.